everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanger, and I'm playing some Shadow Hearts. Hopefully, this FMV should finally record properly. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I understand. Hopefully, you guys are actually seeing the FMV. I'll make this short. Okay, okay. By the mercy of the blue This dragon. FMV is going to take forever, by the way. How no. you guys doing? No, it may have been a curse. Lily's pretty voice was switched with her father's gruff voice. Also, this isn't lagging. And she really talks this slow. Way to get her own Maybe it's a little bit. Voice back was for her to kill her father. Having fallen in love with an actor in a traveling troupe, Lily <laughs> took my ceremonial dagger to kill her father. That's where we left off, correct? That's right. Give me the sharpest knife so that my father won't suffer for too long. Horrible, isn't it? <sighs> Just thinking about it gives me the shivers. You know, if the dude really loved you, he wouldn't care if your voice is really gruff and switch your dad's. The horror. Lily's Pretty lips spoke those horrible words in the gruff voice of an old fisherman. <laughs> she didn't kill my her team. father right away, though. She couldn't. Every night. She would go to her father's bedroom and stand beside his bed. She would lay the dagger on her father's bearded throat. But still, she couldn't commit the final act. She would just Stand there in silence. Again, for a while. if the dude you're in love with can't handle the fact that you have the grip old man Every fisherman's voice because you switch with your dad, save him. Fuck him. <laughs> tears in her eyes. He ain't he ain't worth it. Every Granted, the dude doesn't know, but the same routine. But actually, I brushed Garrus before this. Her father was so there's not rabbit fur all over asleep. my desk still. He it's was my life. ready to die if it meant that his daughter would have a beautiful voice back. The daughter, standing at her father's bedside. The father, pretending to be asleep while his daughter places a dagger to his throat. My heart aches every time I picture the scene. Yeah, okay, can we hurry this up, lady? I've got shit to do. <laughs> and finally, the troop was ready to move out of the fishing village the next day. <gasps> Lily made up her mind and entered her father's bedroom again. But the bedroom was empty. Her father knew she'd leave the village with the theater troupe, so he thought, I'll send her off with a little something. Fucking idiot! <laughs> This is and what got you in the situation in the first place. To sea in search of some fish you could catch only on the night of new moon. But irony of ironies, that very night, a storm rolled in 
and the seas raged wildly. The next day, shut up, phone. The sun Sorry for buzzing. Yeah. And I'm trying to record. High overhead. The longest cutscene. But there was still no sign of Lily's father. It was just like that night some while ago. Then, as the sun was going down again, the debris of a fishing boat washed ashore from the crimson red ocean. Everyone yep. knew her father was dead. Lily cried and cried in despair. Now neither her voice nor her father would ever return. Her cries echoed all over the village. Cries like a wounded beast. Because she had a dude voice. Oh. <laughs> oh. The sea mother is really a showman, isn't she? Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, why does she have to mimic the moans when she tells the story? Oh. I mean, uh... <laughs> uh, what, lady? The young man from the theater troupe went to Lily's house to console her, but she would not let him in. Of course, he never knew that the hideous cries coming from the other side of the wall were Lily's own. Dun dun dun! Yeah, because she never actually Late spoke to That him. evening after the sun went down, the cries came again. <laughs> but why, old lady? Like, you could have you could have been done with the story already if you just told it instead of being Lady's melodramatic. His voice had grown hoarse from her endless wailing making it sound even more fearsome but then another very strange sound it's gonna get worse because she likes to do her on monopias and just <laughs> yep <laughs> Lady! Your story isn't scary at this point. It's just ridiculous and overly long. So if you could knock it off. Because we are like 10 minutes. No. nine, Eight or nine minutes into it this recording. Was like this is all that we have seen. Wet, <laughs> sloppy piece of meat slithering across the ground. The sound was coming from the harbor, and it was getting closer and closer. Shlip. 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 I'm so over this cutscene. <laughs> Such a charm, and she's like, I got a scary story for y'all, and, and then like, nah, the girls started to screech too, perhaps because they wanted that meat. This cutscene. It's been going on for way too long. Shlip. 
The sound stopped right in front of Lily's house. Soon the door began to open. How the hell does she know how the door creaked? Like, she wasn't at Lily's house. Are we done? Are we fucking done? See, mother! See, mother! Are we fucking done? Thank God! <laughs> okay. See, mother! It's the adept! The adept is here! I know who the adept is, but yeah. <gasps> you people are! Well, I never. Oh, wait. So, I realized that I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be British? So I should be giving her an accent this whole time, so... Eh. Well, I never. Aren't you rude, then? You can't just come barging and yelling and flailing about. Now you look at me as if you've seen a ghost. Have we met before? Is the thing she's supposed to be British? If not, I mean, she's got an accent now. Fuck it. Uh, no, 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 not at all. I, uh, I uh, just didn't expect to see such a beauty in a place like this. My apologies. <laughs> He's a traitor. Shushin! <laughs> Looks like I'm finally needed again. <laughs> flamboyant old man is flamboyant. You, you? It's the Quack Oracle! Don't go that. You can drop the Quack part, kid. Long time no see. Hmm? And who's this? Someone from the railroad company? I'm Margaret. I'm a high-ranking government official from a certain large country. Sigh, another shade-looking old fellow. So, who are you? Also, I feel the need to point this out. I seriously doubt they're actually speaking English here. They should all be speaking Chinese, which means everybody here is bilingual. Or at least, at least Yuri and Margaret are bilingual, because they're in Europe later, but oh. <clears throat> Master Zhu Zhen, thank you for coming. We've been expecting you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Some idiots blew up the railway depot and the trains aren't running. Well, now he's British too, I need to stop that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> because it's Margaret. Oh no, Alice! Isn't this Alice? Phew, it's a mighty powerful curse she's under. But you needn't worry anymore. I'm gonna fuck up the ghost. My sea arts aren't as are as good as useless against it. My sea arts? More than ten have died so far. Now she's I'm everybody's suddenly British. So, yeah. This is what I get for not playing this game for like a month or two or figuring out the F and problem. It's not about your lack of power, mother. It's the man pulling the strings. It's him. What do you mean? You you know why Lily came back? Oh, I have a pretty good idea. I'm starting to see who might be behind all this. I'm using my Metatron voice for him, I just realized that. Oh, it's Suzanne. Don't oh, I'm just going off again. I'm just gonna turn it off. Don't worry, I know it's hard. This will be over soon, I promise. Just stick it out a little longer. Lily is in pain, too. Somebody forced her to come back. Yes, yes, I know. I know exactly who it is and what he's up to. Well, thanks! Are you gonna, you know, inform us, dude? You just take it easy and get some rest. I assure you, it'll all be over by tomorrow morning, okay? Yes, thank you. Now then, I'm going to need you two to help. 
Our first task is to rid this town of its ghosts. What do you say? Are you with me? What do you say? You want to tag along? I mean, that's just rewording what you just said, dude. If it'll save Alice, you better believe it. You aren't Naruto, Yuri. <laughs> You're worse than him. <laughs> Same here. Okay, let's strike while the iron's hot. Good, let's get cracking. See, again, it's just re saying what he's just said in those three. First, we've got to find the place they're all getting in from. My guess would be somewhere down by the water. There's sure to be a mark at the spot where they enter. We need to destroy it. Monsters are everywhere outside. Be careful. I shall look after the girl. I have no healer. Fuck. <laughs> right, well, we'll leave her to you. Don't worry, it won't take long. Alright, let's get going. Shiva! <clears throat> so, these three are in the ports of Delian. A uh, Dahlia. Dalian? Dalian. And the Caucasian girl has been stricken with a curse. Yes, the, the man and the woman have set out to destroy the monsters that have been appearing in town. That's how they're going to break the spell on the girl, at least that's what they said. <laughs> There's no question, it's Alice Elliot, alright. So, the other two must be the thin young man and Malkovich. Very well. The beast is caught in its trap. Yes, we must proceed with caution. I excuse me. Where's my money, bitch? <laughs> Sending in brute strength may not be the best way. In which case... Perhaps I'd better do this myself. Excuse me, Lieutenant Colonel, I was wondering... <laughs> that is, that you don't need me anymore. Money? <laughs> yes, yes, you may go. Get your money before you leave. And one more thing, you must not breathe a word of this to anyone. Have you thought that? Huh? Uh, of course, honestly, I've had a terrible memory. I've already forgotten the whole thing. Because <laughs> I'm sleepy as hell. Bunny is being cute and running down and being adorable. Cute bunny is cute! Pacing Kawashima's pacing! Somebody, at once! Doesn't call a specific person, like, dude, just anyone, I don't give a shit. <gasps> yes, Lieutenant Colonel! Ew, it's your nose. Hmm? I've never seen you before. Are you new? Sergeant Kato, so remember this guy. He is important. He is very important, especially to the sequel game, Shadow Hearts Covenant. But, uh, I'm Sergeant Kato, Kato, man. Reporting from Tokyo for my new post. M my expertise is... I'm sorry, but could you leave the self-introductions for later? We don't have time for this now. <laughs> I want you two to dispose of the man who left just left this room. Make it look like a traffic accident. Okay, rude! <laughs> yes, Lieutenant Colonel! Go help! We will go murder the man! <laughs> Sergeant Kato, you're coming to Dalian with me. Get a boat ready. Question mark? A, a boat, man? I don't care what kind any old thing will do, do you understand? If so, we leave now. Follow me. Wait, do you want him to follow you or do you want him to get a boat ready? Ah, oh, Lieutenant Colonel, please wait! <laughs> Poor Kato. I like Kato. He's, again, he's more important to the second game than he is to the first one, but... Alice! Doctor died. Well, she's fucked. <laughs> oh, right, um, what's my... Oh, there we go. I figure I should probably look at Jujun's equipment. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, that's good. Conscious and the player still at once. Eh, just in case, might as well. Oh, oh there we go. I'm trying to remember the controls. I'm like, ah! <laughs> how does one control game? How, how, how do I shot web? Oh, 
There we go. Right over Zhuzhong uh, save? Another Zhuzhong save. Oh my god. Okay, triangle. I'm used to pressing X to exit out of shit. How's that work? Oh, this is a creepy looking for. Oh, hey, look at this obvious thing over here. And then they. I, I love in old school RPGs where they just come out of the main character. <laughs> <laughs> like they are birthed from Yuri's chest. <laughs> hmm. Just as I expected. This mo this is the mock that's summoning all the specters. If we got rid of this, the monsters disappear, right? Now he sounds like a chain smoker. <laughs> Alright, let me at it. There we go. <laughs> Less like a chain smoker. <laughs> nah, dude, this is Yuzhen's. This is Yuzhen's thing, nerd. That's gross looking! <laughs> Granted, it is Shadow Hearts, which is a sequel, spiritual sequel, successor, also sequel to Kodoka. So the character designs are gonna be grotesque as hell, and y'all know it. Okay. Oh, fudge nugget. I'm gonna turn to Radiant Tiger this time. I don't know which one to use, but. Oh, what am I talking about? I'm gonna skip most of this fight anyway because it's hard to commentate over boss fights and random battles in RPGs. There's not much to talk about really unless I'm getting killed that I can go, oh no, I'm dying. Oh no, game over. Hey, I think I got him. It took a while, so something to know about this boss is physical attacks, he's pretty much immune to them. Even Yuri at full power was only able to do like one damage. I don't know if I have to like, put Aqua Edge or Fire Edge on him to actually do something physical attacks, but I just said fuck it. Made Yuri the healer, because the Raging Tiger has a heal magic, has a heal magic, since I don't have Alice right now. Um, yeah. So just so you know... <laughs> ha! That takes care of that. But I wonder why this village was targeted by evil spirits in the first place. Because of us. <laughs> Somebody's after us. For generations, the villagers have worshipped the blue dragon at an undersea shrine just offshore. A month ago, lightning struck and the dragon was sealed away. As a result, Lily became a ghost. Wait a wait a minute. That sounds familiar. <laughs> It's just like what happened in Xiaoyang, isn't it? Which means, Mr. Smarty Sage, you know who the big boss is, right? Sort of big boss. Wait, we were attacked in Feng Tian, too. It's that old geezer from- It's that old geezer of Hai, isn't it? The little puppy dog. <laughs> oh? You've already met him, have you? Oh? <laughs> At any rate, you're correct. He plays Puppet Master from his tower in Shanghai. He is attempting to gain control over the entire continent. By using his tower's magic in forbidden ways. Well, that's not very nice. Forbidden stuff is usually forbidden for a reason. What does Dehai want from us? He wants Alice. I wonder why. In any case, we successfully broke the spell that was cast over this village. You still gotta take care of Lily. Let's go back to the restaurant from before. Let's go inside Yuri first. Uh -huh. Now, Alice still. I remember correctly. I don't think Alice is still well. Maybe. Um. Can Can I go and go? Oh no, she's fine. Okay, I thought I actually had to do something about Lily, like. Fight Lily or some shit? I have not played this game since high school. Forgive me, I've forgotten a lot. Oh, Yuri, everyone, you're back! Ah, you've recovered! Oh, and see, Mother, I don't think Delian will be having any more ghost trouble. However, the fact that Lily herself did not appear does concern me. We are indebted to you. On behalf of everyone in this village, I thank you. 
don't mention it. But you know, I feel like some sort of karmic bond brought us all here together. Or together here. I can read! Will you listen to what I've got to say? Oh no. Uh oh! Music change! Aw, oh, don't go all formal on us, just spill the beans! <laughs> well, we have the Black Tortoise of the North and the Blue Dragon of the East. The two of the four gods of directions. Someone is trying to steal them away to further his own evil ends. So we have to go free two other ghosties. Or, well, two other gods. Death I? I'm probably pronouncing that in terribly, I apologize. Yeah. Now, this is the most important part. The villainous Death I. He's after Alice! He's after you, Alice. Obviously! Yeah, you were saying that before too, but why is he after Alice? I don't get it. Or, hey, maybe this Death Rai guy is just some slick old pair with a Lolita complex. <laughs> well, I mean, Alice's skirt is shorter than her butt because it goes up in the back. <laughs> also, she's an adult, I think. She's 16 or 17 or 18. I think she's an, I'm pretty sure she's of age. Now, now. Well, Alice, is there something you can tell us about this? I, I actually, I don't know anything at all about this man named Defy. Except when Bacon murdered my father in France a month ago, the last thing he said to me was, There are dark warlocks trying to bring about valorization. I won't let them make you their key. Uh-oh. Alice? A key? <laughs> You're no ordinary demonized girl. The star within you shines far brighter than that. Lily's power was nothing compared to yours. I'm not surprised there are warlocks seeking to abuse it. Why is there a guy sitting in the background? <laughs> I just noticed there's a dude in green just chilling back there listening to all of this. It's probably a spy. Your father gave his life to protect you from them, correct? Nod. Yes. And in the end, he sent me far away. And I got caught by the Japanese. He used up the very last of his strength to keep me safe. What? So you've got to keep running forever and ever? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard! Well, I mean, in one of the endings, you do um, die a little, but <laughs> spoil blurs for a really old game. <laughs> we could always make for Shanghai and go after Dehuai ourselves. What say you? And stop along the way to fix the other gods. It's fine. Master Zhu Zhen, if Dehuai is preparing for another valorization, you want to tell us what that is, dude? Indeed. It would mean a repeat performance of a nightmare we lived through 15 years ago. Explain. The nightmare 15 years ago? The valorization? It's a ritual that, in effect, turns the entire world upside down. <laughs> what? Dev, I attempted the valorization once before. Countless people lost their lives in the catastrophe catastrophic earthquakes and disasters that followed. I can read... 15 years ago, huh? So the valor this valorization didn't work? Ha! You must be joking. If he succeeded, it would have meant the end of the world. I clicked a button. Sorry. As I recall, a certain man stood in Deathwise's way and gave his life to stop the process of valorization. Harry's father! I mean, what? <laughs> Having lost half his body in that battle, Dehuai went underground. Now he's plotting his comeback. Yes, the plotting is to secretly to carry out the valorization right known as Demon's Gate Invocation. Demon's Gate Invocation? So, if we don't, like, stop it, this battle will go on forever, right? <laughs> so, we need to stop it. <laughs> I like it! Let's see if we go to Shanghai. I want... I want to go to Shanghai too. I can't keep running like this forever. Not... 
if confronting Deify will help me understand why my father died. And what Roger, ba Roger Bacon has to do with any of this? <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that because anybody who's watched my Kodaka Let's Play knows that the dude that we've seen calling himself Roger Bacon is definitely not Roger Bacon. Y you're all going? Hmm. This means I'm outnumbered. Sorry. I guess I'm in this thing with you then. <laughs> I mean, she didn't think she was against it. <laughs> uh, but how are we gonna get to Shanghai? If we go over land, the Japanese army will catch us at this checkpoint for sure. And I've had enough flying. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Marguerite's flying is amazing and brilliant. Never a result in things. You can use my boat. Toshino! <laughs> Evening, everyone. I'm totally not a member of the Japanese military. Hey, were you eavesdropping on us? I did, that did not use her voice. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just happened over here. I didn't expect to get into this port. I didn't expect to get into port this late, you see. There's some big fuss going on about monsters. It was all I could do to protect my goods. She really got a smuggler's, like, setup done really fast. <laughs> oh? And what business are you in, miss? Doesn't seem rather late for honest traders to be out and about. <laughs> and the same can be said of you now. At any rate, I'm a courier. Even though my name is Smuggler Boss. <clears throat> of course, courier is a bit uh, euphemistic. To put it but bluntly, I'm a smuggler. Based on what I overheard, you're looking for a way into Shanghai. And that means sneaking past the Japanese army, right? <laughs> No need for explanations, I guess. So, you got a boat? Yes, but it's old. The army thinks it's a fishing boat, and they let it right through the checkpoints. I'm also a lieutenant in the Japanese military. I think. I can't remember what the rank was. Lieutenant Colonel? Something like that? They never guess there might be contraband under the floorboards, even if it's human. Hmm. I don't know how comfortable I am with this, but... What would you ask in return? I switched to his voice halfway through. You tell me. You can say I'm a little short on cash. Not bitch baby. Alright, it's a deal. Excellent. I'll go ahead to the boat, make your preparations, and meet me there at first light. I'm going to I'm going to take you straight into the Japanese army. <laughs> Because I'm not who I say I am. I don't like this, and I don't like her. Don't fret. You'll find people making a living slipping under the eye of the law anywhere you go. Is that the kind of person that you think this woman is? Most likely. Besides, do you have any better ideas? <laughs> My super sassiness? <laughs> I don't know why I made the old man so sassy, but he is sassy! Yes, you should call it tonight and get some rest in the inn. Sea Mother has a point. Let's be going. Dot dot dot. I mean, Margaret, Margaret's right to be suspicious. I mean, we know that it's Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. They don't, but still. Ugh, morning already? She's got a little rest. Oh god, it's the dude who hits on Yuri all the time. Hmm? Where are the other kids? You're finally up, huh, kid? Marguerite's already left. I don't know if it's Marguerite. Marguerite or Margaret. I want to say Marguerite because it has the E at the end. Oh. Now, this is an imp the important part. The villain is Deathfly. His name is the villain is Deathfly. Oh, shut up. You're dead asleep. Yuri, let's get going. Everyone goes inside each other. <laughs> uh, maybe that was a good place to settle. Or some acupuncture treatments. <laughs> uh, no thanks. <laughs> My 
might as well save. Because again, we haven't dealt with Lily. I can't remember if Lily gets dealt with. I thought we had a boss fight with her, but apparently not. Or maybe we go on the boat because I said that the shrine was underneath the water. So maybe we still have to take care of Lily because we get shrecked along the way or something. I'm gonna talk to some of these nerds. I can't remember if I talked to them or not. You got anything for me? Unemployed man? No, I don't care. I don't want to miss things. Because I remember about halfway-ish through the game, you go from being in Asia to being in Europe. And you can't go- I don't think you can go back to Asia? I think? Number of steps. Uh, I'm going to wait. Dot 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 silent Hitler. Ultimate with bad luck. I wonder if Lily still will ever be at peace. And we're probably going to have to wreck her in a minute, so. Are we done yet? Let's go! Hi, Kato! <laughs> hey, the boss told me all about you! You ready to leave? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, all aboard! Uh, we're totally um not going to get you wrecked. Hey, look at the fog that was there before, and the creepy greenness going into the underside of the ship from a porthole or some shit. Ugh. This place looks gross. Oh, it's seasick. <laughs> Are you alright? Hell nah! <laughs> he is seasick! No. <laughs> But you seem at least a little better than before. At least you can talk now. <sighs> I used to get really horrifically motion sick. I would never throw up because I have an iron a stomach made of iron. But oh, it sucks sometimes. Why don't you try going out onto the deck? The fresh air might do you some good. <laughs> Just give him barf back out, so he'll be fine. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll try that. Maybe I better come with you. You still look pretty shaky. No, no, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go check something real quick. I have a cast iron skillet seasoning in my oven right now. And I just remembered that I needed to check on it. <laughs> I meant to do it before I started recording, but hello. The girl Alice possesses extraordinary power. That's not her voice. She would make an excellent research subject. Excuse you! The young man who calls himself Yari also reason wields unusual forces. In the future, our country must. Why would she say this shit out loud? Like, if she's, ta if she's taking notes? Why would she say this out loud? What about my future? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I mean, she was talking to herself out loud like that. She could have just written down that sign. Anyway. Hey, what are you doing then? It's not polite to try to find out about the lady's secret, sunny boy. <laughs> I forgot about the sunny boy. <laughs> what, what's with the memo? What's it say? What? what? Oh, you mean this? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this old thing? It's just my diary. I thought I'd better write down each and every detail of this exciting adventure. Good timing, you know. Yeah. Sure, dude. I couldn't care less, because I'm super sick right now. Her? <laughs> Eek! Gross! Just threw up. Don't you dare throw up! She's supposed to be a spy, but she's grossed out by a little thing like somebody vomiting. Okay. Eat gross! Don't swallow it! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm done for. Poor dude. <laughs> how filthy, how disgusting. Go lie down or something. Shoo, shoo! You're so rude, Marguerite. No. Fuck you, I'm going this way. 
I'm gonna go say hi to Kawashima, who's totally, totally good. I swear. Hmm? Why is it locked? What are they up to in there? They're plotting your capture, nerds. <laughs> it looks bigger on the inside than it does on the outside. <gasps> it's gotten quite foggy. See? Oh, yep, I knew it. They're totally getting captured by Lee Lee Spirit, I swear. Because they mentioned the underwater shrine. You weren't going to mention that shit if I wasn't going to go to it, right? Yes, but don't worry. The boat is sailing smoothly. There we go. That can be his voice. You know, I don't think we'd actually have it this easy. You're incredible, Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. They really think we're... They really think we're their own personal couriers. So, from Shanghai, all we have to do is get them on the special charter and rush them off to Japan. We can't let our guard down. These people butchered the soldiers on the Trans-Siberian Express. Uh, no. That was the thing, Roger Bacon. Not me. I've slaughtered things. It's just not your soldier dude. Yes, well, I heard about the incident too, but... I can't imagine that the girl can be capable of such a thing. She seems so sweet. I mean, she is. She's such a cinnamon roll. <laughs> Alice is like the cinnamon roll of this of this series. I mean, just look at how she takes care of the young man who's been sick ever since we left the port. Hmm. It could have been him, that Yuri, that did the butchering. Nope. See, she's starting to have doubts already. Kato? Y yes I want to see for myself. I wanted to see the girl and her friends with my own eyes. I assume you've heard about the old man in Shanghai who continues to plot against our army. Y yes I don't know the details, but Devi seems to be a warlock with powers of an adept. Correct. Thanks to him, we're having difficulty gaining any measure of power in Shanghai. <laughs> it's a sharp old scoundrel, that Devi. Like, maybe we should let them take him down. <gasps> they say he tried to ultimate Taoist magic 15 years ago and was about to blow Japan to bits. Gasp. But really? It's like, they say. Um, apparently there's lots of earthquakes and a lot of people died. I don't think it's a they say kind of thing. Who knows? It could just be an exaggeration. Something my father let up when he was drunk. Apparently, a colonel in Black Ops was just barely able to stop Dehuai's ritual at the last moment. Yuri's father! <laughs> I can so blatantly obviously Yuri's father. I, I had no idea. I don't know m how much of it is true, but I think that at least some part of it really happened. The bloated desk jockeys we take our orders from don't have a clue about the size of this country. They know even less about the team of varieties of people and ways of thinking here. This utopia we're pushing is nothing more than a dirty trick shrouded in a cute name. Even I might just be another cog in the wheel of this scheme, helping move it ever forward. See, <laughs> throw the dope, Sakato, out of nowhere! <laughs> the people here are victims of politics. They really want to do- all they really want to do is get on with their lives. It's no surprise this lab would produce a warlock like Dehai. At least it makes things interesting. Talk, 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 talk. I can never do an episode of it, like multiple episodes of this in a row. Because it makes me really lightheaded to talk this much. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel, what do you think the connection between Dehai and Alice is? Ah, uh, forgive me for going on and on. It's just boring talk. Not at all, ma'am. I always liked to hear your thoughts, Lieutenant Colonel. He's in love with her. You're a funny fellow, aren't you? Fine, let's get back to the subject at hand. I've been tracking Dehwa for some time. Eventually, I learned of the girl who was so desperate to catch. Alice. Is this Alice? Yes. She has a unique spiritual power. Even Suji met his death when he encountered her. 
Death Fly will stop at nothing to get her. If used properly, she'll be an asset to the Shanghai Hats. So now they want to acquire out. Everybody is like this poor girl. She's like, I don't want to live my life. <laughs> I wish to find out whether she will be a help or a hindrance to Japan's invasion of the mainland. So very nice. The Shanghai Offensive, so the Japanese army can take the mainland. Is that your real motivation, Lieutenant Colonel? <laughs> <Tee -hee. laughs> she doesn't seem like a hee hee sort of person. Ugh, kid, here. What are they babbling about? Hey, look at this suspicious green sludge. I wonder if it could be important somehow. Hmm. Oh, there's Zhuzhen. I was gonna say, uh, Zhuzhen, are, are you paying attention to this, like, at all? He needs to be alive while well, soaring the catch. Looks gross, though. Come on, Yuri, you can do it. Slowly moves over. Phew, the sun's going down and the fog's rolling in. Hmm. Uh, what's with that scowl, Pops? Don't tell me you're throwing up from the seasickness. Ugh. Poor dude. <laughs> that would be you, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, kid, are you feeling better now? And what do you make of this unearthly aura? It seems to us from the sea in permeate clothes. Lily! Unearthly aura? Sorry, buddy. I'm dealing with some pretty earthly problems right now. <laughs> Poor dude. Hey, watch it, will you? Do not soil my robes. <laughs> oh god, Yuri! <laughs> Damn, now I'm just dry heaving. Aren't we in Shanghai yet? How much longer is it gonna take? <laughs> we should be there by a little afternoon tomorrow. What? I won't last that long, pal! He's got such a weak little tum tum. Hey, a kid, if you're going to kick the bucket, do it over there, will you? <laughs> some help you are. Can you at least have brought some medicine for this kind of thing? You and Miss Spy Genius are big beanies. I'm gonna go back and talk to Alice. <laughs> Alice is the only one who really cares about me. <laughs> I swear to God, if he gets a heart over his head. I guess that was the game telling me to go back and talk to Alice. Very slowly. Cause I'm not allowed to run. <laughs> How long does it take, Yuri? To slowly move back into the bottom of the ship. Hi, Alice. Yuri, are you okay? You didn't come back. I was getting worried. I freaked off about it. Then. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I learned just how kind you are, Alice, and how cold the rest of the world is. <laughs> what? Susan <laughs> and Marguerite say there's something wrong outside. But what could it possibly be? Alice is going to walk off a uh, walk up to the top of the ship and she's gonna get kidnapped. Speaking of there being something wrong, Yuri, your disposition has changed since I first met you. You're not trying to get up you're not trying to get under my skirt as much. <laughs> it seems like you're changing more and more all the time. Maybe it has something to do with your powers. I'm worried about you. It's like there's been this dark shadow hanging over you and it's getting stronger. Oh? Oh, yeah, my powers have just gone up a little wild since I met up with you. And now they're confused with more spirits. But hey, I say things are fine just the way they are. <laughs> the way they are? I haven't had any headaches lately. No mystery voice either. I must be doing something, right? If you're right about the voice wanting to tell me something, and if what the voice says is true, I want to know whose voice it is. I've decided to protect you at all costs. <laughs> like, woman, let me love you. <laughs> so I'm fine with things the way they are. Even if I end up going insane for a while. Yuri. Now kiss. But you know. Yes? If, if I were to get devoured by the spirits inside of me that I fused with, they take me over, and I'm not myself anymore. You've got to kill me, Alice. No hesitation. 
Yeah, okay. Stab him in the chest! Oh, come on, that's not funny! It's not a joke. <gasps> Don't worry. You won't lose to those monsters, so it won't happen. I... I believe in you. No. Yes. <laughs> hey, you two, something's going on! <gasps> Told you something's wrong! Oopsie, did I come in at a bad time? Am I in the way, perhaps? What is it already? What's going on? It's something big. You two better come outside, let's go! Question mark? Oh, I wanted to save my game and end the video. No, I saved the game. We can find out whatever it was in the next one. Because I need some tea for my voice. All this talk can make my throat itch. Wait, what? I totally ran out there with Alice. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be it for now. My rabbit is tearing up my floor. I need to address that. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Shadow Hearts. I'll see you all in the next video.